Peyton, how does it feel to be back for the sixth year, and, and what's that feel like getting that that, that extra year? Um, I mean, it's a blessing. Uh, you know, anytime you could get an opportunity like that to keep playing the game you love, you, know, you got to take take it and run with it and make the most of it, and that's what I plan to do. Um, so I'm just out here having fun, and, um, taking it day by day, and trying to get this team better. How you feeling health wise? Are you 100? percent um, Yeah, I'm definitely getting there. Um, like I said, uh, taking it day after day, um, but I, I'm definitely feeling good. I feel like I've, I've made great progress, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm just about full speed. You're pretty optimistic that, that you would be able to play again, or was it kind of so-so for a while? Or uh, no, I mean it was my goal to, to play again. So um, right from the get-go, I knew what I had to do um, to get healthy again, and so you know, I just put it into action, and uh, here I am. You know, uh, as healthy as I'm going to be. The, the process of, of applying for it, going going through that part of it. Tell us what that was like, and were you nervous that they, they might decline it, or? Um, we, we had a pretty solid plan in place, and uh, our, our trainers and our, our compliance people they, they did a great job um, in, in helping me out with with everything, every step. And uh, you know, it, it took it took a while. It took a little bit longer to hear back from the NCAA and the Pac-12 than we wanted to. So it was a little a little nerve wracking there, but uh, you know the the good. Uh, the good thing is that you know I got the, the extra year, and that's what matters. And you know, I'm, it, it's a blessing, and I'm just happy to be back. I, I know it's tough for you to be hurt last year, but it's kind of a win-win going into this year. You got to see Justice and and Jihad, and kind of have to grow up quickly on the field. And, and now you guys are all together. What what's that whole whole dynamic like? Oh, it's great. Um, I mean, last year they got a lot of experience. Like we got I don't know 12, 15 linebackers now that, and we're we're all competing and. Um, it's awesome because a lot of these guys they have experience now. They're not they're not just young guys. They're they're young guys with experience and they're getting older every day by day. Um, so you know we're all competing out there and it's, and it's fun um, and it's definitely very helpful to have, especially for Coach Wilson as well and um, this whole defense to have guys with um, experience and uh, you know that guys that can play. Coach Wilson, you're kind of that elder statesman of that that linebacker core now. What is it like? Being the the oldest man and kind of not having Dotson and those in Derider as kind of a group of leaders now, kind of just being yourself. Uh, yeah, I kind of feel like the like the grandfather of the group, you know. Um, yeah, I, we joke around all the time, just just how how old I am compared to these guys, but it doesn't matter, you know. We're we're all out here doing the same thing, um, just having fun, playing the game that we love. Um, so I, you know, we like we like to joke around and, and have fun with each other, and that's uh, you know, that's what you want. That's you know, we got a great group of guys and. I'm thankful to uh, have these guys compete with every day. Coach Wilson was pretty elated when, when he heard the news. It was he the first call that you made when, when you heard back? Uh, I think Wilson was, and then yeah, my mom. <laughs> so <laughs> Wilson, and then your mom? Yeah, um, yeah. I had to let, let had to let Coach know that I was coming back. Um, so yeah, he's pretty ecstatic. What's been the biggest adjustment you've had to make within Coach Clay's package as, as opposed to Coach Grinch's package and some of the things you've had to do the first couple of days? Right. Um, there's there's not a whole lot of changes. Coach Clay has been awesome coming in and and kind of uh, integrating what we've done in the past, especially verbiage wise, um, and kind of integrating with he, what he wants to run. And we're just now getting into the stuff that he wants to run. Um, and a lot of it is different, just just simple stuff like we were running a little more a little more man, a little more aggressive uh, zone coverages. And now we're we're mo more zone eyes, looking at the quarterback more, um, just little things like that. Um, but it's, it's it's a transition, but we're all making it day by day, and I, I think the guys are picking up the the uh, the installs great. When did you get rid of the flow? Uh, spring break, little <laughs> spring break. I've been postponing. I told myself I was going to get rid of it after the season, and I postponed it. And I told myself I was going to get rid of it before I mean, at maneuvers, and that didn't happen. I was like, I was down in California. I was like, well, I'll, just, I'll just chop it off here, you know. Uh, it's been a little bit of transition. <laughs> feels feels like something's been kind of been taken away from me, but you know, it, was, it was bittersweet. I had to had to move on. <laughs> gonna let Cam Cooper be the guy with the flow this yeah, season. Yeah, yeah, he's gonna carry on the legacy, <laughs> passing the torch. What have you seen from early enrollee uh, Kendrick Caddis? Kendrick, he he's the man. He's a uh, he's a hitter. Uh, I love to see that. Um, you know, he's not he's not afraid to put his head down and, and run into you. So I'm a, I'm really excited for this next Tuesday where we can put the pads on and. You know, see see what he can do with with some actual real pads. Um, but you know, he's picking up picking up material well, and uh, so I'm excited to see him play more. Thanks, Peyton. Thank Thanks, Peyton. Thanks, guys. Thank you.